Okay. Here we have a loaded stone train. HO scale. And this is going to be the train that's going to demonstrate my signal system. So we get a closer look at the locomotives. We got a chassis system. 4810. And we got a Conrail quality. 3297. Now let's take a look at our signal system. Okay, here we have our trailing point signal at an interlocking I like to call east end loop, the east end of my reverse loop. Mainline signal shows a green, clear indication. As you can see, the system is at standby. There are no trains running at this point. And then over here, we have our siding, or our dwarf signal. And as you can see from the setting of the switch, it is set against the siding. Therefore, the signal shows a stop and stay indication or a red. Now let's take a look at the intermediate signals. Over here we have our intermediate signals in between interlockings west end loop and east end loop. Here our eastbound intermediate is a three light and our westbound is a custom-made searchlight. And now let's take a look at our west end loop interlocking signals. Okay, here we have our west end loop interlocking signals. This view shows our mainline signal and just like in the east end loop, it shows a clear because the system's at standby. So everything is clear. Now, on the other hand, we have our siding, which is a two target dwarf, and it shows a red indication. And this is also because of the switch set against the main line, or set against the branch line. My mistake and then now over here we got our facing point signal the last two I showed you are the trailing points this is our facing point this is a uh, three target and this one is also showing a clear due to standby mode now let's take a look at these bad boys in action